What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, you gotta take a moment to fix your hair. Oh! And we'll be taking a look at a brand new game. This is from my dear friends at Supermassive Games. If you don't know who they are, they're the makers of Until Dawn, as well as games like the Dark Pictures franchise. If you don't play games at all, though, or have no idea what that is, don't worry, strap yourselves in, because this is about to be one wild ride. Make sure to grab yourself a drink, grab some snacks, tell a friend, and let's get started, guys. This is The Quarry. Alright, so it looks like the loading screen looks amazing so far. Very simple, yet very intricate details on it. As you can see, there is a, uh, a note on the top right that says Rabbit Hole. Not sure what that means. A camera, what seems to be a surveillance video on the right. And of course, Hackett's Quarry on the computer. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Before we go any further, we have to talk about Movie Mode, which is a new feature they added just for this game. Let's take a look. So we could predisposition each character where everyone lives, everyone dies, or you could enter the director's chair yourself and give certain characteristics such as distracted, oblivious, and many other characteristics for each of the characters that you guys could play as. So you could see the story unfold without really even going hands on. There we go guys, but we're not going to do that because we're going to get hands on just for you guys. That's how we like to do it over here. <laughs> here we go. Before we keep going, don't forget to leave a like on this video, of course. Subscribe if you're brand new and or haven't already done so, which is crazy. So you know when the next video drops immediately. And let's get right on into it, guys. You guys are the best audience ever. And this is The Quarry. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. 
goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, guys, our first pick, uh, should we get a leaflet or the map? I feel like the map will be the best idea. Ah, uh, voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Whoa! Oh, barely made it. No way. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't... What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, guys, we finally get to move around, but first things first, I don't know if you guys saw that lady in the back seat as we were swerving. Barely made that, by the way, but if you didn't, make sure to rewind and check that out. Almost scared me, but we're good. I mean, the car's not totally busted up, right? So there's got to be something on the trunk. These woods look spooky as... All right, here we go. Uh, snoop or don't? Should we... Uh, why not? Actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. All right, so let's go back there. Uh, we didn't get a chance to fully see what it was. It looked like a rejection letter from a college, maybe? Looks like Max was rejected from his choice of college. Let's see if we could, uh, I know there's a lot of reader freaks out there, those of you that love to read. So definitely uh, we get to see the text as well. Pause and read for those of you that really want to read it. Here we go, next page. 
and there it is guys so it's just a rejection letter that Max didn't get into college looks like he hasn't told her about it really want to get out of these woods though does not seem like a fun place to be in especially when you see that lady in the back seat come on yo what was that Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. All right, guys, what should we say? Should we be defiant? Uh, are you my boss or hurry up? Honestly, really want to get out of these woods, so hurry up. God, Max, hurry up. What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah. I they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Luck with the car. First off, so many things wrong with this scenario right here. Why would he let her go alone in the first place into these... What? Alright, second, if we really did hit someone, do you think they crawled all the way out here and just started walking around in the woods? If they did... Even if we did hit him, like, come on, we're out of here, there's no way. So many stupid decisions already, but guess that's what it takes in a horror movie. Here we go. Um, there's nothing there. Honestly, guys, if you're stuck out in the woods like this, I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to get out of there ASAP. Alright, here we go. Oh, what is this? Looks like we found a card, the fool. Okay, okay. Maybe it becomes useful later on. Pause and read for those of you reader freaks out there. Let's keep going. Alright, so it's just the same way right here. Um, I mean, the design looks really, really good, guys. So big shout out to the folks at Supermassive Games and their design team. Cause it looks like some spooky woods. All right, what is this? Looks like a poster for. Um, let's take a closer look. A harem scarum poster. But who puts a poster up in the middle of the woods? Like, do we just get regular people passing through here all the time in the middle of the night? All right, here we go. Or maybe, you know, posters for the animals to come to the show. Let's go around here. Really don't want to keep going. Can we turn back? I don't think we could turn back and just go to the car, right? I don't think this girl's that smart. So let's keep going. <laughs> There's two paths, one to the left, one to the right. Um, oh man, I really don't know. I hear some weird sounds on the left, so I'm going to stick to the right path for now. Oh, another. So many paths. Should we just keep going this way? Of course, you gotta take a moment to fix your hair. Oh! Yeah, of course, um, as you guys could tell, totally wasn't scared there. Just some old lady walking the woods in the middle of the night. Casual. Um, let's see. Looks like we can't go this way. The camera angles are decent, so... Ooh, bro, stay back. We got a flashlight. Um, honestly, not a smart idea, guys. Come on, you hear these whispers as well. Like, how do you continue? <laughs> how do you continue to walk forward into the whispers? All right, very cool so far.
Oh, looks like we gotta press. Barely made that again. Alright, here we go. Don't fall, don't fall. Come on, watch out. Here we go. No way. Is everything alright? Holy shit. Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was... There was noises all around oh, me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You alright? Yes, there we go. Burn like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Laura, Max! Laura, you're not helping me. I'm trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh! Ah! Fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, hey, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah, um... So a cop just shows up out of nowhere in the middle of the woods. Perfectly normal, of course. Uh, we swerved off. Should we tell him we swerved off, guys? Or something jumped out? Um... I feel like he already knows. There's, there's got to be some blood in the front of the car, right? So we can't just say we swerved off. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Should we tell him an animal jumped out or it was dark? Um, I feel like we can't really tell him, if we tell him it was dark, he could think it was a person, and then we might not make it out of here in one piece. So we're gonna say it's an animal, it is in the woods, middle of the night, could have been an animal, guys. We hope it's an animal, so... Um, uh, an animal. <laughs> you know, yeah, um, it's just, it, it, don't know what kind, it was so fast and... Yeah. Well, it was most likely a deer. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. You folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Um, we could just say taking in the sights, but what are the chances of that, right? We're heading to camp. Um, let's tell him we're heading to camp because I don't think he's going to buy that we're taking in the sights. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? 
Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? I mean, why doesn't he want us to go to Hackett's quarry? And is that blood on his neck, guys? Do we really trust a cop with blood on his neck? I don't know. We'll head to the motel. Should we agree with them and say we gotta go to the motel? I kinda wanna know why he doesn't wanna go there, so... Hope it doesn't matter, but we'll just ask that quick question. With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem- Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son? Remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. 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 So, we... Definitely the creepiest cop ever. Right? All right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Don't you need like Have a, a statement? Have a good night. this guy just sitting there thanks for all your help or should we tell him the guy was weird the guy was super weird so I guess we'll go with that that guy was giving me major weirdo the vibes. dude needed like at least a dozen showers oh my god I know what was up with the thing I did you see was, that was it blood nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. If we drive all the way the fuck out Max, here... Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. 
Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it looks like no one's home, but we did call ahead, right? Um, let's see if we could. I don't think we could go around either. There's no lights up here, guys. Definitely it looks like no one's home, but I don't think there'd be an abandoned car in that good of a shape in front of the cabin, so someone must be home. Hello? Is anybody home? Well, no one's gonna answer the door, so I don't think we could go anywhere up there. There is a light coming from a door down there. I mean, you can't really miss that door, guys. It's like super highlighted down there. Uh, hold on. We get to see something here as well. There's a tree walk, a fire pit, a tree house. The ferries down there are jetty. The boathouse. I think the car park is where we are right now. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I don't know um, about that. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Alright, so, um, there's nothing else to see there. Definitely can't miss that door. Whatever that door is down there, there's only one light beaming right at it. Everything else is from the car. Let's see, what do we got here? Is there something on the floor? Nope, there's nothing there. Um, maybe we can go in through here, hopefully. If it's open. I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Alright guys, first of all, whatever was there, um, I don't know if that's human, the way it ran off. And second, if they're really stuck down there, you don't think they'd be responding to what you're saying or even coming close to the door? I don't know. Seems like a bad idea to me, guys, but um, we're going to go ahead and take... The so we could take the hammer, but I feel like the wrench would still do the hammer's job because it's still heavy, it's metal, so you could still bang nails or whatever it is in, as well as use it to turn as well so there's benefits with the wrench I think I don't know what do you guys think I'm gonna go with the wrench sure? uh yeah I saw it online should we be confident or hammer time I don't know I feel like the wrenchers is still the best option so and we did see it online so yeah saw it online You need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> You've seen the evil dad, right? 
Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. All right, so Max does seem very hesitant, but I don't know why he keeps following her down here. Oh. Is that a is that a dog tag with blood? Guys, I really want to turn back. Like honestly, this mm -hmm. is a very I'm just you know, I'm scoping it out. Scoping it out. There's barely any light down here. Still think this is a very bad idea, but I'm gonna go get that dog tag, I guess. Here we go. That's not a dog tag. Hold on. It's a bloody collar, but it, it, it's definitely too big to be for a dog. A human collar? What? Oh, what is that? Oh, no. How do you not run after this? Come on. Max? Alright, so you clearly just saw something or someone run away down here. There's a bloody dog collar. They're not responding. And you find a... I don't know if that's human or some kind of carcass down here, all bloodied up. And we're still casually exploring it, guys, of course. Because that's what anyone would do, of course, right? Um, sure, you guys would, right? <laughs> casually explore while there's a human carcass down there? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was, there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Max? Max! Max! His blood. Oh shit, um, do we help Max or do we just leave him and get out of there? Uh, we can't leave Max, come on now, guys, we gotta get him out of there. Hurry up though, whatever that thing is, it's probably still down there. Come on, Max, help us out a little bit. Come on, move your feet. We're almost out of there. Hold on. Gotta put pressure on that wound, I think we made it out. We got it, let's go. did not see that coming guys especially I know it was a creepy cop but I didn't think he had something to do with it and I don't know if she's dead Max is definitely dead what an amazing start to this game and I can't wait to see where it goes from here I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the music and we'll keep going
Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. So it looks like these cards that we find are um, premonitions into the future by this lady. I don't know who this lady is at all, but it looks very cool. I kind of feel like I want to see more, guys. So here we go. Let's take a look. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here. Look here. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. <laughs> 